家好啊，我系野猪仔当当，我好中意听故事噶，你哋系唔系都一样呢？我有个好朋友，佢叫球球，佢好中意讲故事噶。如果你都想同我一齐听，不如跟住我一齐去揾佢啦，快啲啦！小朋友，今日球球同大家拣咗呢本英文绘本，叫做。Mr. Greedy comes round for lunch by Roger Hargreaves. 等我哋一齐睇下呢个故事讲咩啦。One sunny day, a strange noise woke everyone up. Rumble, rumble. What could it be? Might it be an earthquake? No, it was just Mr. Greedy's tummy rumbling. Gobble, gobble, slurp, slurp. A loaf of bread, two sausages, a slice of cheese, and four boiled eggs. Just a little breakfast to keep me going," said Mr. Greedy. Finishing up the last few crumbs on the table. Never mind, I can have a big lunch to make up for it. Then he got into his car and drove to visit his friend, Mr. Busy. Mr. Busy has been rushing around as usual. He'd just had time to make a quick snack, which he was very happy to share with Mr. Greedy. Gobble, slurp. A loaf of bread, a whole ham, mashed potato, and a bowl of boiled eggs. In the blink of an eye. Mr. Greedy had gobbled up all of Mr. Busy's food. Mr. Greedy is so greedy," said Mr. Busy. "He's left nothing for me." But Mr. Greedy didn't hear, because he had already gone to see his friend, Little Miss Dotty. Said Little Miss Dotty, "I've just cooked a chicken. Let's have an early lunch." Gobble, slurp. Chicken, fish, eggs, cheese, apples, and bananas. It was the best lunch Mr. Greedy had ever had. Little Miss Dotty, he hasn't even left me a morsel of chicken. But Mr. Greedy didn't hear, because he was already on his way to see Little Miss Fickle. Do come in," said Little Miss Fickle. "Do come in," said Little Miss Fickle. What perfect timing! I was just about to have lunch, and I've cooked up a feast: chicken, mashed potato, fruit, cheese, and cake, and lots of other tasty things. What a treat! <laughs> Once again, Mr. Greedy made the most of the delicious meal. That his friend had cooked. The only thing he left was one tiny new potato. Uh oh! Next, Mr. Greedy called on his friend Mr. Nonsense, who was just about to sit down for a light supper. A little sandwich will be enough for me," 
said Mr. Greedy when Mr. Nonsense invited Mr. Greedy to join him. Gobble, slurp. Mr. Greedy ate an ice cream sandwich, a sausage salad, jam soup, a carrot milkshake, and bananas and mustard. And when that was finished, he ate every last crumb in Mr. Nonsense's cupboards until there was nothing left in the house at all. The friends had had enough. They met and decided that Mr. Greedy needed to be taught a lesson. I've got an idea, said Mr. Busy. Let's all meet at my house tomorrow for the completely different kind of lunch. Help yourself to some chips, Mr. Greedy, said Mr. Busy. The next day, handing him an empty dish. Do eat, said Mr. Nonsense. Will you have a few more peas? Suggested little Miss Totty. You must try this delicious jelly, said little Miss Fickle. But all the plates were empty, completely empty. And yet, everyone seems to be having a wonderful meal. Mr. Greedy didn't know what to make of it all. Was he dreaming? Was his hunger playing tricks on his mind? Confused, he pretended to eat, just like the others. At the end of the invisible meal, he thanked Mr. Busy for the delicious food and went back home. I do feel a little peckish, said Mr. Greedy when he arrived at home. He rushed into the kitchen and went straight to the biscuits team. But there were no biscuits left, just one little crumb. And that night, for the very first time, Mr. Greedy fell asleep with just one small crumb in his huge tummy. And for the first time in a long time, his sleep was peaceful and full of happy dreams. About mountains of chocolate and rivers of custard. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. Please like and subscribe the page. Thank you.